Classical isn't boring. And if it's boring, it can't be classical. Bharatanatyam redefined, reimagined, reinvigorated. my pleasure to be able to communicate with my audiences and this especially marks a very special celebration for us being the 10th anniversary of our production company. We have broken the mold many a time in the last 10 years and I want to speak specifically about our shift from stage to the digital world which has been a game changer for us. If during the stage years, it was Savita who challenged me um, with the words, can you then write a story that would keep our audiences interested? Our objective was really to popularize Bharatanatyam as a beautiful art form to as wide an audience base across the world. It was a young girl who met us at the end of one of our shoots and asked me, you know, the story is fine, everything looks good, but do you think you could probably tell us a story in five minutes. I was like, five minutes seems quite a challenge, but let's try it. What came out of it was this film called The Descent. story that you can tell in a matter of 10 minutes, in a matter of 15 minutes, then you're catering to the audience that has little time, little patience and a plethora of options on their hand. It's a fact that Bharatanatyam is a dance form that is beauty and grace personified. Unfortunately, it's also a fact that many amongst the current generation have moved to Western and alternative forms of modern dance because perhaps they feel classical dance is a little too traditional and too boring for their taste. What if I were to tell you it could actually be an edge of the seat experience? No, I'm not joking. Because this is exactly what writer A.K. Srikant and celebrated Bharatanatyam dancer Savita Shastri have managed to prove. My choreography had to adapt to this new form. I had to keep the focus of everything I did on the story, on the content, add in elements of musicality, lyricality, so the sum becomes more than its parts. And Savita shows us yet again why she's often called the dancing storyteller. She defies nature and age with her ever elegant performance, a clean and crisp abhinaya. She conveys every nuance of the layered story that is beautifully written by Srikant. The last person I heard of with this kind of innovation in dance was the legendary Rukmani Devi Arundev. And I think Savita is aiming to create a second revolution in this art form in our own lifetime. of a costume designer is to understand the character. This platform gave me a challenge where I had to understand the setting, the plot, the character, so I could bring out the fullness of the character to which she could actually get into the character and perform it the right way. Same goes for my makeup where I had, it was a great challenge from my previous work that had, I had done with her. And uh, I would always sum it up with thank you to 
तहे दिल से शुक्रिया श्रीकांत जी एंड सविता मैम फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी ड्यूरिंग माय स्टेज इयर्स एंड ड्यूरिंग द इयर्स वी हैव गॉन डिजिटल आई थिंक आई हैव हैड द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू वर्क विद सम ऑफ द मोस्ट टैलेंटेड म्यूजिशियंस दैट आई हैव एवर मेट इन माय लाइफ बी इट राजकुमार जी बी इट अभय जी विद हुम वी हैव कोलैबोरेटेड ऑन दीस प्रोजेक्ट्स टू मेक दीस शॉर्ट फिल्म्स the importance of music in our films is such that it accentuates the whole storytelling process creates the special savita sastri look that comes up with the films that you see that you enjoy Savita and Srikant the very best for their wonderful mission. All the very best Srikant and Savita. More power to you. My heartfelt congratulations to this couple. Many congratulations to you both Savita and Srikant and look forward to all that you create. May they see the day when Indian classical dance is as mainstream as Bollywood. Felicitations Savita and Srikant. I'm sure you will continue to enthrall audiences for many decades. May the wonderful art form of Bharatanatyam reach levels of popularity in the world. May you spread the good word far wider than you ever imagined. Cheers and love. And keep dancing and keep sharing these stories. Best wishes. Their work on popularizing Indian classical art is already well known and may they continue to create magic for years to come.